What's going on guys? I'm Spoons and today we are going to be using AI Dungeon 2 to try to tell some anime stories. For those of you who don't know, AI Dungeon 2 is a free text-based game that uses an AI to try to come up with stories for you. There are some kind of pre-made prompts built in, but you can actually plug in custom prompts to this and it'll generate stories around those. So what I've done here is I've got a couple of different paragraphs that I wrote up that are just kind of basic summaries of anime written in terms that the AI here can understand. So we're going to plug those in and see what it comes up with and I'm going to try to get something interesting out of it. So fun fact, this game is a little bit wonky because it is AI driven and sometimes it'll just go completely off the rails and do something that you didn't intend to or just completely ignore your commands. That's half the fun. So we're just going to enjoy it and see where it goes. So I'm going to pop into a new single player game here. Go to custom. Enter a prompt that describes who you are in the first couple sentences of where you start out. So this prompt is based on Konosuba, and we're going to see if I type that in what it comes up with. You are an adventurer named Kazuma. You were born and died in Japan, and you were reincarnated into a fantasy world. You form a party of adventurers. The adventurers in your party are a female crusader named Darkness, a female wizard named Megamine, and a goddess named Aqua. Darkness has high defense, but she can't hit anything. Megamine uses powerful explosion magic, but she can only use it once a day. Aqua is stupid and useless. You and your party set out to defeat the evil demon king. The adventure begins when you wake up from a long sleep. You see that the sun is shining brightly outside, which means it's morning. You also notice that there are no shadows lurking about. Well, that's always a good thing. I always check for shadows lurking about whenever I wake up in the morning. So I'm going to go to... The Adventurer's Guild and look for a quest. You head to the Adventurer's Guild. There are many people here, so you have to choose one person who will be able to help you. Hello, I'm looking for a job. I need someone to escort me to the Village of Dirt. Why do I need that? The AI has decided that I'm going to Dirt, so I guess I'm going to Dirt. Man at the Dust smile. Sure, I can do that. What can I expect to find in Dirt? It's a small village, so don't expect much. The people there mostly subsist on farming and farming only. They have a few markets and shops, but nothing special. I wouldn't stay there too long. I've changed my mind. <laughs> I do not want to go to dirt. Are there any quests available? Sorry, kid, I can't do that. You need to complete a quest before you can decline one. Bye. What? <laughs> Was the quest to go to dirt? You leave the Adventurer's Guild with no other choice. Beg them to let me go on a quest. I am broke and I need money. You quickly run up to the desk and beg the woman behind it. I'll do anything, but they won't let me go on any quest until I've completed the first one. <laughs> that does sound like Kazuma. Please. Sorry, kid, you need to complete the first quest before you can refuse one. What was the first quest? <laughs> I don't understand, there wasn't ever a quest. Oh, you didn't hear? A demon attacked the village of Rusa. It was a slaughter. They're looking for two more people to help to destroy the demon. That sounds pretty hard, but okay, they only need two more, but I've got a party of four people, so that So I'll say That sounds great. I will take my party and go to Rusa. Sorry, Chris <laughs> Sorry, Ken, you need to complete the first quest before you can refuse one. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to go ask Darkness if she can convince the Adventurer's Guild to give us a quest. I have an idea, but you're not going to like it, you say. I'm not going to like what, Darkness asks. I need you to use your noble status to convince the Adventurer's Guild to give us a quest. What? Why would I do that? Because it's the only way we're going to get to the demon world and kick some butt. Demon world? But I don't really want to go to a demon world. But I guess that's what's happening. Just do it. Just do it. I can't. If I do, they'll know I'm working with you and I won't get credit for the quest. <laughs> that's your problem. What? <laughs> you are the one who can't do the quest. The real problem is that you're an idiot. I'm going to say, Darkness agrees to help you. Let's just see if it'll run with that. You head to the Adventurer's Guild the next day. What do you want? The man at the desk asks rudely. Asks rudely. Darkness shows the man at the desk 
for Noble Crest and asks him to give you a quest. The man agrees and hands you a quest card. Make sure to complete it before next week, he says, handing you a card with a big red X on it. So I'm going to read the quest card. To retrieve the Leprechaun's Gold from the Demon Lord Asmodeus. <laughs> Once you have this item, bring it back to me so I can open a portal to the human world. This sounds like it's a little above my, um, my adventure level here, but I already got this far in. Maybe I just pissed off Deskman. I'm gonna ask around town to see where I can find Demon Lord Asmodeus. You ask very pe various people in town if they've ever heard of a Demon Lord named Asmodeus. Demon Lord? <laughs> There's no such thing, the merchant replies. I'm gonna ask Aqua. She's a goddess, so she might know. I didn't say ask the blacksmith, I definitely said ask Aqua. But the blacksmith seems to know. Uh, I've heard rumors that he resides in the lowest depths of the demon realm, he says. So how do I get there? So we're gonna ask him. How do I get to the demon realm? The blacksmith laughs. That's it. He just... Come on, give me more to work with than that. <laughs> you want to go to the demon realm? You must be joking. You show the blacksmith your quest card. Oh, you need this? Well, I suppose you'd better shop and get yourself some new weapons then, the blacksmith says. You quickly thank him and run into the shop. I don't want to thank him. He didn't help me at all. You realize you have no money. And leave the store. You try to find a bank, but you're unsuccessful. You realize that you need to get money somehow. Well, I guess I'll be doing that by fulfilling this quest, but I don't know, like, how to get to the demon realm. I wonder if I can cheese it a little bit and just say, go to the demon realm. Is that, like, a shortcut I can take? You walk through the fields to the demon realm. <laughs> it's just right down the field, you know? Just past the uh, the farm on the left, and then it's right there, the big demon realm, lots of evil. The road is long and tiresome. Eventually, you see a castle in the distance. You continue to the castle. I'm going to ask Megumin. I'm assuming that my party's with me. I'm going to ask Megumin who lives in the castle. Hey, is that your castle, you ask? Uh, no, that's the demon lord's castle, Megumin says. Who's the demon lord? Asmodeus, of course. Okay. So I guess the demon lord that I, like, set up in the intro is is Asmodeus. I'm gonna ask Megumin to just explode the castle. Her explosion. Ask Megumin to use her explosion magic on the castle. All right, all right, I'll do it, she says. She walks over to the castle. Suddenly, a large explosion occurs, destroying much of the castle. Is that it? Am I done? Check to see if Asmodeus is alive. You check to see if Asmodeus is alive. Hmm, it seems he's still alive, you say. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. No, we can't leave, I gotta kill him. Um, I'm just gonna, like, go go talk to him. Maybe he's, like, chill and he'll just let me kill him. Approach Asmodeus. See how he's doing. Just, hey. You approach Asmodeus. I was hoping for a little more than that. Give me more to work with here, please. Demon Lord, if you surrender immediately, there will be no need for this to end in violence, you say. Yeah, right, Asmodeus snorts. I'm going to examine Asmodeus, see if I can get some more description on him. No, the only description I get is you examine Asmodeus. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think you're the kind of guy that can be talked into surrendering, you say. Asmodeus tries to strike you, but you easily dodge. I'm going to order Darkness to attack Asmodeus. Let's see if it keeps up my thing from the prompt that she can't hit anything. You order Darkness to attack Asmodeus. Darkness, kill that demon, you shout. Darkness swings her sword at the demon lord, but she is struck by his power and thrown to the ground. She probably enjoyed that. <laughs> order Aqua to attack Asmodeus. Maybe she'll figure something out. Aqua casts a magic missile at the demon, but it has no effect. Demon's way too powerful, she says. Okay, so I'm going to use my steel spell to try to steal something from Asmodeus. Anything. I, okay. You use your teleport spell to try to steal something from Asmodeus. That's not what I said, but we'll, we'll go with it. See what it says. You are suddenly transported behind Asmodeus. He turns around only to be struck by your sword. You quickly take the top jeweled ring off his finger and put it on your own. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Severed finger jewelry, my favorite. That's really not what I was hoping for. 
So I'm going to try just asking him nicely to please give up. Just please. You know, no one ever tries that. They never ask the, the demon. <laughs> See, and it works great. Ah, a human with a sword. I never thought I'd have to surrender to one. Please give up before it's too late. Hmm. Very well. I give myself up. That was pretty straightforward. Um, so I should just kill him and complete the quest. But I'm petty. And so, since you've surrendered, can I get you to do me a favor? Don't take me to my cell. Ah, yes. Could you do me a favor instead? Sure. Ask Asmodeus to kill the man working at the <laughs> Adventurer's Guild. Because he was a jerk. And so that's going to be what he gets. I beg you, can you do me a favor, you say? Hmm? Could you kill that man over there, the one dressed in blue? Apparently he's just, like, within... Within pointing distance, so like the demon realm is just like a quick little field over away from the town. I can just point over there. Yeah, the little blue speck right over there, that one. Let's see what he says. What's wrong with him? He's the head of the adventurer's guild. <laughs> that, that is the problem with him. I don't like him and I want him gone. Sure, I'll kill him. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you say, walking over to the man in question. Um, I'm just gonna watch Asmodeus kill the man. To make sure it gets done. You walk over to the dead body. <laughs> See, now I feel bad. Now I feel like... I feel kind of bad. Ask Asmodeus to resurrect the man. <laughs> Please? Can I get two favors out of this? Asmodeus looks at you as if confused. I don't understand, he says. I feel kind of bad about this now. Please just resurrect him. I thought you didn't like humans. I don't, but I feel bad about this. Ah. Very well, I'll resurrect him. This is a very compliant demon. He's just like, yeah, whatever, dog. You want me to surrender? I got you. Kill that man? Sure. Resurrect him? We're good. I like Asmodeus. I'm gonna keep him around. He's great. <laughs> Aqua uses a magic missile to hit Asmodeus in the eye, which causes him to roar in pain. What's wrong with you humans? Can't you see when you're losing? That absolutely looks like something Aqua would do. Aqua, why would you do that? I'm not the one who started this. <laughs> Wait, so I'm just supposed to stand here and get killed? You raise your hand and command darkness. It's lowercase d. Am I commanding, like, darkness the person or, like, the concept of darkness? I'm gonna assume that it's the person. And I'm just gonna say, order darkness to apologize to <laughs> Asmodeus. <laughs> darkness obeys and kneels in front of the demon lord. Apologies, my lord. She didn't mean it. <laughs> Aqua is just stupid and useless. Please ignore her. Hmm. Asmodeus puts his hand over his eye and looks at you. All right, your friend is, isn't useless. Friend isn't useless, okay. You, however, you're about to talk some shit. You cast a rare frost at Asmodeus, but he catches your hand. I was trying to avoid fighting him. He was so nice earlier. I liked you better when you surrendered. Asmodeus hits you with a magic bolt, followed by a kick to your stomach. You're a lot of things, little human, but you're not stupid. I'm going to use Drain Touch to drain Asmodeus' life. See if I can pull a little bit of Lich magic on him. You use the Drain Touch magic, but Asmodeus shrug shrugs you off. I'm too powerful for that now. He hits you with a small bolt of lightning, which shocks you into submission. <laughs> Ask Megumin if she can use explosion again. She shouldn't be able to, I don't think. Should be able to, if I remember correctly. Yeah, she replies. I'm gonna tell her. Use it on Asmodeus. But that'll hurt him. <laughs> It'll save us, just do it. <laughs> Fine, Megumin snaps. She stands on a table and uses her magic. Burn, she shouts, causing a powerful explosion which knocks Asmodeus down and reflects off his body. This is so in character. I, oh, I'm so impressed. He reflects off his body, though. He seems to be somewhat stronger. Ask Aqua to use God Blow on Asmodeus. I think that worked in, in the movie. That was, like, somewhat useful. No, don't use it on him, she says. You just attacked him. Why the hell not? Because he's not the enemy right now. It's the human army. If you blow him up, then they'll win. 
So what, if he kills us all, then the humans win anyway. So apparently I'm like, non-human now. The AI has kind of lost track of me. We're gonna, we're gonna roll with it. We are human. Aqua. I don't want to argue about this. Fine, I'll use it then. You snap. Apparently I've gained Aqua's abilities. You raise your hand up and begin to concentrate. I'm gonna use my own magic now. You try to hurt us and I'll fry you, you say. Fine. I'm gonna let it keep going. It seems to be coming up with something. Akra prepares her palms as you do the same. You both begin to focus. Now you shout and unleash your magic attack on Asmodeus. Your attack is fierce and powerful enough to damage Asmodeus, but it doesn't stop there. Also, his name seems to have changed to Asmodeus. Apparently it's forgotten how to spell. I'm gonna say we heard him, you know, try to buff him up a little bit, give him some encouragement. Your spell hits Asmodeus and he falls to the ground, but it isn't strong enough to finish him off. He grabs you by the throat and begins to strangle you. Say, please stop. He seemed to like it before when I politely asked him. I'm going to kill you for this. Good, you grin. Close your eyes and your body goes <laughs> No, I know. I wonder if I can get resurrected in this game like you can in the show. I'm going to beg the goddess Ares to help me win. Because Ares seems to like me, so. Goddess Ares, you scream. What? She asks, materializing in front of you. Please help me. <laughs> Over. Fine. Ares disappears, and soon you hear the sounds of battle approaching. Thanks, you're an inspiration, <laughs> you say, once you recover from the damage your throat has taken. Alright, we need to finish this before they get here, Megamine says. What did she do other than, like, keep me from dying? I guess I'll take that. Okay, so, I need a strategy. What's my strategy gonna be? My strategy is going to be to just rush in with my sword. Attack Asmodeus with my sword. He Okay, you raise your sword up and swing at him. He dodges, but the attack still connects with his leg, cutting through muscle and scraping the bone. He roars in pain and attempts to kick you. I'm going to dodge the kick and tell Aqua to attack him. Aqua attacks with her trident. Apparently she has a trident now. And she misses. No, that's a woman, you shout, and look at the reflection of yourself to confirm. What? Have I turned into a woman? You're out of time. You drop to the floor and close your eyes. I'm sorry, I couldn't. There was just too much. <laughs> Am I dying? <laughs> you whisper and lose consciousness. You dream about your family. You dream about your childhood. You dream about your future. And a bright one it is. And then... Everything ends. Oh no! You open your eyes to find yourself in a white room. You're all bandaged up, lying on a hospital bed. There's a doctor standing nearby, checking your vitals. What the hell is going on? The doctor ignores you and leaves the room. Soon you realize that you're able to get up and move around a bit. You're confused for a bit, and you head to the door to ask for someone. What the hell is going on? <laughs> no one responds. You head back inside and sit on the bed, thinking about what happened. I can't believe this, you mutter to yourself. You stare at your reflection in the hospital mirror. It looks almost like you, but there's something off about it. Something strange and not quite right. What the hell am I doing in the infirmary? I'm just gonna let it play out. You feel a slight pain in your side. Look down. There's a needle sticking out of you, filled with some unknown fluid. I'm gonna run away from the hospital. You leave the hospital as quickly as you can, not wanting to stick around. You're met with the sight of your house, which is in flames. Your mom and dad run out of the house looking for you. Am I back, like, in, in like, this world? Did I, like, un -isekai myself? Was it all a dream? I shall just repeat my question. What the hell is going on? Zachary, where are you? Your mom asks. I'm right here, you respond before she tackles you to the ground. Thank the gods you're alive. So apparently I am Zachary now. Um, I have been un -isekai'd. The whole thing was a dream. That seems like a good ending spot. Minus the whole my house being on fire thing. It's like I went and I climactically fought the demon lord. Um, lost because I and my party are useless. And made it back home to my family. So that is that is where we're going to end on that one, I think. So yeah, this is AI Dungeon 2. It's a fun little program to mess around with it. Obviously, it's got some kinks. Now, there is an updated version of the AI that it runs on. Uh, you do have to be a premium subscriber to access it, and I am not. I would consider doing that, though, if this would be something that you'd like to see more of in the future. So um, if you want to see more of what this AI is capable of, maybe we could run through a few more anime or even try to create a, a generic anime plot. Um, yeah, just uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll look into it. I don't think it's very expensive and I wouldn't mind doing it. This is fun. So that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed uh, me trying out something new here. Um, I have been Spoons and I'll see you next time.